Hello everyone. Welcome back to the 12th round of the 2021 Candidates Tournament. It's the game between Fabiano Caruana versus Anish Giri. So the fascinating thing about this game is that the players, uh, the player from the Black Pieces won the game, which is who is Anish Giri. So Anish Giri uh, is just half point below Nepo. So if Nepo draws the game, uh, Anish Kiri is just half point uh, ahead of Nepo. So Nepo also needs a win, right? So actually, Nepo also won the game. So still, Nepo keeps the half point lead against Anish Kiri. So this game is really good, and most of you will enjoy the game. So without further ado, let's get started. We see E4, C5. Knight to f3. This is the Sicilian defense. e6, d4, and pawn takes pawn. We have knight takes on d4, knight to f6, and now knight to c3. We have knight to c6 and a, a3. This is the time honor. We have bishop to e7, bishop to e3, castles, bishop to e2, and d6. We have queen to d3. Bishop to d7 and f4. Now, uh, with this move f4, uh, he gets some control of the center. And uh, now he's ready to castle king side and also keeping the option of castling queen side with some attacks going over here with h3, g4. So now we have e5 trying to break open the center as Fabi's king is right now in the center. And now we have knight takes on c6. We have b takes on c6 and castles. And now we replace a prophylactic idea. Now, if you see the king's safety, both kings are castled uh, in the king side. And if you see the mobility of pieces, okay, uh, this bishop of Fabius is controlling this, uh, uh, this, a lot of squares and uh, this bishop also is uh, controlling a lot of squares when the pawn moves from here he'll be looking at a lot of squares and the knight still keeps an eye on d5 and also guards that pawn on e4 and uh, if you go to the pieces of um, uh, giris his king is castled and uh, the knight is okay there. And the bishops, if we talk about, are not such good. Well, the Eastern bishop is just going for the guard. And we have to activate the decent bishop. So let's see the plan of Giri. So now Giri plays the move pawn takes f4. What's the idea? He wants to activate the b6 bishop. Now you would say, why should they take on a four? He could have just activated bishop, bishop to b6. The problem here is Fabi has f5. Now the bishop has to go back to c8 or d7, one of those two squares. And he'll not be active those, in those squares. So yes, uh, he could have uh, tried this, but uh, this a6 square is not such good as when the queen moves, uh, this bishop will just I on a6. So that's why we don't see that. After castles, we see pawn takes, bishop takes, and now bishop to e6. Now no f5. Queen to g3, putting some pressure on d6, and knight d7, a pawn sacrifice. What's the idea? If you had taken, we should, uh, just queen b6 check first. And then uh, after the king moves to h1, we could see this, this, and takes and now you cannot play this uh, trying to guard that knight. Just look at c d8. After that, uh, I'll just take and this is good for black. Uh, so that's why we didn't see that, but rather we saw the move rook a to d1. Uh, now we have rook to e8 and king to h1, getting that king out of uh that uh, really, really dangerous uh, diagonal. 
we have quint B8 ion one B2. We have B4 protecting the pond from the A3 pond. We have nitro to 5 and B5. We have root to C8 and pond takes on C6. We have root takes on C6. And now uh, here, the nitro to D5. Now he goes after the Eastern Bishop, but what's the idea? And the Giri here plays Queen to F8. He's telling, dude, just take on Eastern. What's what's going to happen to me? Well, the thing is, if you cannot take on E7, because that's the baddest bishop in the whole area. That's the baddest bishop in the whole game. And well, it's like you have one million dollars and a one pencil, which is not even a dollar, and you grab the book dollar and just go. That's that's what happens if you take on E7. We have C3, we have rook A to C8, and uh, rook to C1. Knight to G6, now attacking the bishop. Bishop backs up to D2, bishop to H4, queen to E3, and now root to c5. We see c4, we see h6, and now queen to b3. Now getting hold of that uh, b5. We see bishop to g5 offering a trade of bishops. And now bishop takes on g5. H takes on g5, and queen to g3, attack on g5. We have queen to d8, guarding the pawn. Rook to d1, rook c to d1, and now bishop takes on the d5. We have e takes on d5, and knight to f4. Now attacking the bishop on uh, e2. We have queen to f2, guarding the bishop, and now rook uh, c to c7. Well, rook d8 to c7, and now rook to d4. We have queen to e8, bishop to f3, Rook takes on c4, rook takes on c4, and rook takes on c4. Well, the pawn sacrifice there was not much clear. We have queen takes on a7, now rook to a4. Queen to f2, and rook takes on a3. Now, I think that Fabi missed that move, rook to a4, uh, because he was thinking that he could sacrifice there and take the a7 pawn and make a pass from there, but the thing is that Giri has a move rook to a4, which means the a3 pawn. And now we see h4, trying to make some out of it. We have queen to e5, pawn takes on a, a g5, and queen takes on g5. Now you should see the king's safety. White's king is just all out, just, just some checks, and uh, he's just gone. But black's king is totally safe there. Now, if you Prefer a position, a, a player in this position, I would go black split. Why his king's safety is just 100% and the peace mobility is just really good. So now we have rook d1 trying to get some background counter play. We have rook to 8 and bishop to 4. Now, Giri takes the drawback of this move. Now, no rook to e8. Is coming. That's why he plays rook to a2. A brilliant move. A brilliant move. He cannot take over here because uh, he'll just win in a few moves. Here, here. Just some rotation. And just take on, oh, sorry, just, just take on e4. <coughs> so, Yes, that's why we didn't see that. After rook to a2, we see rook to b1. And uh, what's the idea? You cannot take on f2 because rook to b8 is going to be a turn. So both players sacrificing things, material. We have rook to a8 going back for the defense. And rook to e1. We have f5. Now, if I would uh, pause, tell you to pause the video and find a good plan for uh, black. Now, a plan would have been king h7 and 
okay chain but it's not working because of this vision well okay if g6 and then g7 it also doesn't work because it takes time blacks white white has time for it to get ready that's why giri plays the greatest move f5 really good move just just me magnificent f5 and now uh, we see bishop to move one we see king to f e f7 idea being just to play rook h8 check and then win the game we see rook to e3 trying to stop it uh let's say he just plays something like bishop c2 in this position then uh, just rook h8 and uh, uh, now uh, rook h8 check it's just winning uh 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 king g1 and then knight h3 and win the queen so that's why uh fabi tried the move rook to e3 rook h8 check still and king g1 knight takes on g2 brilliant move. and uh, it was in this portion that uh, Fa uh fabiano Kawana resigned the game as there's nothing more to be done well uh if there's some discoveries coming if you take here then i'll just take Queen has to block, or oh, no, just if king f1, just queen c1, and then I'll just pick up a bishop on uh, b1, right? And now, if uh, in the question of the of knight x on g2, if uh, he tries to do escape, then comes knight a3, just your rook signing. And something like rook e3 just happens to mate with the move queen to c1 check. And uh, if king takes on g2, it's just queen to h1 check mate, nice mate. So that's why uh, after knight takes on g2, Fabiano is ending. So please like and subscribe the video. Hope you don't uh, forget uh, to click on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with more chess videos. Bye.